And this is Frank from Apple on the one. Today, I want to discuss some features that you'll find within the accessibility area of your system preferences. So we're going to open system preferences. And the first one we want to talk about is Zoom. Click on Zoom. Now, your Zoom is just that. You hit a key combination and it will zoom your screen in or out. So you have three options here. And the first is the option key or the alternate key, the command key, and the number eight. If you do them in sequence, that will zoom you in or out to its max. If you want to go in increments, you can use the option command equal. You see how it's bringing it up. And if you want to go back, it's option command minus. It can be a very useful feature when you're on web pages and you want to isolate a particular area. Also, some people ask, well, wh what are these characters when they see them in pull-down menus? If you open Safari and type in Apple Keyboard Shortcuts, it will take you to Apple Support, and you'll see posted there all of the Apple keys and what they are, the symbol and then the key, and they'll sh tell you all of the functionality that you can use with keyboard shortcuts. So again, once again, that's Apple Keyboard Shortcuts. Our next feature is going to be the cursor size. We're going to go to Accessories, Display, and here you'll see you can you have all of these different options depending upon your need. This is pretty much the size of your pointer when you turn on your Mac. I turn on this particular function here, Shake Mouse Pointer to Locate, so that when you shake it, you see how it gets larger. I turn that on, and then you just slide this off to the right and pick a size that you find comfortable for you to be used all the time. You can, you know, go in and out however you see fit. Also, if you want to change the pointer outline color, so right now it defaults to white, the pointer fill color is black, you can change them to whatever suits your fancy. All right, so there is your cursor size and your zoom functions. The next item that I want to talk about is called spoken content. Now, spoken content, you go back to accessibility and you go to spoken content. Hello everyone, this is Will. I'm just chiming in onto this specific area called spoken content that Frank pointed out and I wanted to kind of show you an example of that. A real life scenario for you right here on a website. So number one is system speak language. It'll just use the regular language you have on the screen or you could choose the language that fits your capability. You can see all the different options here. You also have system voice. You could choose what voice you want to have come through. Now, if you click on it and then you hit play sample. Hello. My name is Kathy. They also have the option to speak faster. Hello, my name is Kathy. The one I chose, another one I like, is Siri Compact Voice. Hello, my name is Aaron. And of course, you can slow it or speed it down. And then, of course, the volume can go up and down. So the first thing I turned on was speak selection. And then under the I, it actually tells you what the shortcut is. Now, originally it's option escape. You could change that if you want. You can also highlight content while it's talking. You can do word color if you want to highlight the word color, the sentence color. You have a lot of options here, but I wanted to show you how that actually works. So we're going to hit OK. And what I wanted to do was go to like the bottom of pages, like all the stuff you don't want to read. So I want to actually highlight the entire paragraph here. We're not going to listen to everything, but I want to show you. I'm going to hit Option, Escape, give it a couple seconds, and it'll start speaking. Pricing for iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Plus includes a $30 connectivity disc. 
Now I'm going to pause it. Now you have controls here on the screen. So you can see that these controls may rewind, slow down the talking, speed up the talking. So we're going to hit this. A discount that requires activate requires activation with AT&T, T-Mobile, or Verizon. Available to qualify. Cut. Pause it. You can see there's a little bit of delay, so please be a little patient on it. But you can see that you can fast forward. You can fast forward it. You can go backwards. I'm going to play Customers it again. requires 24 month installment. Well, you'll need to select AT and T, T Mobile, or an iPhone purchased with ACMI is always unlocked. So there you go. So that's how this feature works. So when you go to system settings and you can mess around in this, this will be a great example of where you're on websites and you want to speak and you want to slow it down and speed it up. It's a little bit different than if you go here and then you right click and go to speech. You will not have controls like you will like this one. Another great feature I recently discovered is called background sounds. If you go to accessibility and go to audio, you will then see the background sounds option. I know a lot of people sometimes when they're at their desk, they want to have some noise or background that helps them kind of like get rid of like other things in the environment. So there's actually a feature where you go to background sounds and it tells you it'll play background noises to mask unwanted environmental noise. These can be minimized distractions to help you focus, calm, and stay rest. So I'm going to turn it on. And as you can see, Rain automatically turned on, so we have rain. And then you can choose other ones that you can download. Now, originally, let's go with that audio, you won't hear me. So if you go to choose, for example, some of these you have to download. So you have to click on the download button to install them. So we're gonna do ocean, and I hit okay. And then I hit choose, ocean, and then I'll raise it up. There you go. Now there's also a feature to turn off background noise when Mac is not in use. So this is good. Like if you lock your screen, you don't want the noise to keep going. Um, that's a, probably a good idea to turn on, you know, unless you want it on for any reason. So background sounds is a great way to get your distraction out. I know some people like to do timers as well. I mean, they don't have that, but this is a great way to be more calm, more focused on what you're working on. And the last thing that uh, I want to go over is the type to Siri. That is Siri. Then you turn this switch on. Type to Siri. Now, what does that do for you? Well, when you activate Siri on your Mac, then you get this little pop-up. And what you can do at that point is type in whatever question you want to ask Siri. The Chiefs just barely lost to the Eagles yesterday. The final score was 21 to 17. So there I typed in what was the score of last night's football game, and it came right back to you. So that's a feature that you can use if you'd rather uh, type into the Surrey box rather than just speak it. All right, so those are some very interesting features that uh, we feel everyone can use. I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for joining us for this episode. We really do appreciate all the feedback you guys give us. Please leave any comments down on anything you want us to expand and talk about further. And I love every single one of you. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for viewing our content. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe so you can see all our training videos as well as links to download our podcast.